welcome back to my channel this is M Beans Color With Me and today I just wanted to show a real quick uh, book I got from that I bought, ordered from um, Amazon this is by Special Art because I have a few of their books and this was something quite different this was a complete guide to modern calligraphy hand lettering I actually saw this book on um, Meg's Atrium channel. So check her channel out. If you want to see the flip through, you can go to her channel and see it. I'll put the link in the description. And um, and she had the flip through, so I went through. I was like, oh, maybe I might want this book. And then the strange thing about it is that I was planning on getting like the little, um, it was like a little call calligraphy set. It was off of Amazon. I was thinking about getting that. So then when I saw this book, I was like, oh, wow, let me check this book out. So this is a little different. It's not a coloring book or anything like that. So this will be for my art day. Um, I used to do calligraphy in school. I don't know, high, middle school or high school it was one of the two. I don't remember. I know I used to do it because I had the pen. I had the whole set. And I was really good at it. And I liked it. So now they have modern calligraphy. But I wish it would have, um, one thing I was, I don't, I don't know if I've seen it. I got to go through the book. I went through it. I wish they would have put the, the old, what is it, old English calligraphy? That's the one I used to do. So this is more modern, like, and not only you can use this for calligraphy, just to do calligraphy, you could probably help with your, your handwriting. You know, especially the signature because really they don't teach um, handwriting skills in school. Only like in, L, I think in what, first grade or kindergarten because this was like a requirement. You have to learn how to like sign and learn script. They don't do that no more. So I'll probably have my son use this book and my daughter to get to learn how to um, script because you have to learn how to sign your name. I'm wondering why they stopped that. You know, they should have kept that going. I know it's not a big deal, but you do know how to write. You should be able to learn how to write. Um, have your own style of writing, you know. So if you sign something, you know that's your, your signature. You know that's your handwriting. Because everybody has their own style of um, signatures. You know, it took me a while to learn. I know how to script, but it's like, I have to learn how to know when I sign my name or something. Because <laughs> I'll be forgetting. I sign all kinds of ways. It's like no, like certain people have that one particular signature. Like my husband and my father, they perfect handwriting. But um, I'm scribble scrap. <laughs> my daughter, perfect handwriting. My son, me and my son is more scribble scrap. So this is probably can help not only with learning calligraphy but help with your handwriting skills too because they don't teach this in school um it's a table of content oh, a lot of stuff here basic optical illusions in the letter anatomy of the letter practice main fonts tools hopefully you can see i'm sorry if i gotta put I gotta move the book around Let's look back at history. People write because they need to communicate information throughout history. Humanity has searched for the most convenient way to pass on their knowledge. They have invented paper, writing tools, various printing techniques, engraving, stamps, and imprints, printer, and even the, even the internet. The skill to write and therefore to read with the privilege of a small stratum of society. All right, I'm not going to read the whole thing. So they have the printed letter. This is the first typeface where, of course, based on handwritten alphabets and even strive to imitate them. But the shapes of the letter and calligraphy is based on the moments of the hand and writing tools and the calligraphy hand. Yeah, because you got to be like, there's a certain way you got to move your hand. But I learned it and it was fun. All right, um, we'll look at the rules later. Printed letters are static and follow different rules. Calligraphy is dynamic, dynamic, 
This means that the same letters can be written in different ways. And there are many literatures which are made of two or more letters. So I guess we all learn, in reality, you all, everybody learns calligraphy. Because everybody signs it different ways. I guess you gotta find which way is comfortable for you. Then you have the tools. Um, so you have here, you have, so what does it take to start the journey? When you start picking up your book collection, be prepared to, for the most surprising thing. Just keep in mind that anything can leave a mark on something, can help you. It may be a toothbrush, a stick, or even a cucumber. As long as it expires you, there's no limit to creativity. Maybe a tube stick or cucumber. That's weird. <laughs> so look at look at the basic. You have a sessional first, a medium hard pencil. When it comes to a pen, I would recommend choosing one that gives a line of constant thickness. Markers. Here I want to draw your attention to markers with a cone-shaped tip. They differ in terms of line and diff diff thickness, which is important to us. Yeah, because when sometimes when you do calligraphy, it's like it's a thin line and then it's a thick line. So I could use the super tip. Because Meg was saying you could use the super tip. I've seen it on, I think it's on Crayola. Crayola tell you. I think it was on Instagram. And um, they had it on, it was on Crayola. Instagram. Where a guy used um, the super tips to do calligraphy. A brush pen, this is good. It's a marker with a tip in the shape of a brush. A pointed pen. This is the pen I use this here to do the calligraphy. I wanted to get that pen too. It's more close here as well exactly we are going to do here. Calligraphy is the art of beautiful writing. Lettering is a join of letters. So let's have a look at the main font groups. You got syrup font, strong strokes framing the main strokes of characters, it's almost like this, but you gotta have a certain pen to do it like that, but this is more if you have on a computer or typing, you got sand, you got script font, imitation handwriting or calligraphy, well you know you do script, display accidental font, not designed for typesetting, used for signage, headlines, or ads. Very distinct, unusual fonts. And you got practice here. Low contrast, high contrast. The line without pressure. You do it light. The line with pressure it comes up dark. And thicker lines. Well, these are different pens here. A pointed pen, wide nib, brush. I think I had this one here. Line down, line with pressure, then line widen with the tip of the brush. Mm, excuse me. I'm yawning. <laughs> anatomy, anatomy of a letter. I guess it breaks it down for you. Hello, my friend, the middle line. Optical illusions in the letter. Hmm. I'm just interested you can sit down and just read this. Stiffness of the hand, our needs to be, our hands need to be able to reduce the image that is born in our head. Hmm. Everything you imagine is real, shine your light. So I already see I started doing some lettering here. It was a little difficult. <laughs> and then with me being a lefty. But this is just regular lettering right here. Sans serif. This is almost like you just have that little curve like that K. Let me show you. Go down. Gotta angle it and come back then like that. Now let me see if I can do it. <laughs> Go down. I was supposed to stretch it out first. See? Yeah. Let me try it again. 
This one I ain't touched the line. Oh, it went below the line. Trying to look at it. Okay. What the L? This is simple. The L is like the L. It's better. I think it's better if you use a marker. Use it. You could use this. Yeah, I'm all off. My hands are shaky. Let me see. Hold on. That's the Sansa with, if you see it right there, Sansa with Alphabet. All right, let me see if I can do a different one. This mostly, some of them just have little curves in it. It's just regular P, O, the P comes all the way down. Z. I like this little saying, they got little sayings in here. First they watch, then they hate, then they copy. <laughs> I like that. Mono line calligraphy. The next mono line font is particularly suitable for be beginners. It will help you achieve a smooth consistency in your stroke and build your m muscle memory. Add an intro letter space. So they got it right. I'm gonna. Don't go back on the same line. Make an indent. Wow, Ooh, this is like a skin. I guess you do what makes what makes you feel comfortable doing. Cause I do my D's like, see, I did it right here. Cause this is how I do my D's anyway. And I still did it wrong. Why did I do it like that? You see what I did? <laughs> Why did I do that like that? That's not what they got. It's out. This is not that easy. Hold on, let me see if I can do that D again. Down, loop around, and I gotta come out. I like maybe I can make my D's like that. I like that they give you enough C, give you enough space. This is basic mono line. Let me see if I can do it again. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Down, loop, round, and... Okay, I almost got it. Down, loop, round. Okay. So I did it right there. Do that look like that right here? This one here, almost. The D is more oval, like... As you see, I try to do the letters here. Oh, this G look crazy, y'all. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see something. Let me see if I can put it up close. Yeah. Let's see if we could do this G. How is, how in the world? So where do you start? See, the other thing is you got to put where it starts at. Wow. Let me see. Wow, that looks difficult. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, I'm missing that. Oh, because they start from up here. How did I do y'all? <laughs> This looks crazy. Hold on, let me trace it. Yeah. Because I know you don't start at the bottom. Wow. Imagine you making your G like that. Nobody can't copy that. So you could probably use some of these others as your signature. Put it in like, if you don't want to use the whole letter, like I could do the D. Mm. The A I did. Let me put it back down again. The A or the C. It's curved. Let me see. 
Okay, I got it a little bit. Let's curve. So I would use like, if I was to use my name, it would be this D, this A here. But how would I put it together though? But see, they just have uppercase. I'm trying to figure out if you would put it in lowercase. Do they have lowercase? I don't even know. So how would I do a W? So that's D-A. Oh, let me do the N. All right, the N is right here. So it goes up, down. And it's not so bad. And let me do it again. So it will be Oh, they got it up to the line. Okay, let me try one more time. I messed up on that curve. But I think you're supposed to like let your hand go. Hold on. Like that, see? You gotta relax your hands. So let's try. Oops, sorry for the camera. I mean the phone. Okay, the W. Let's try the W. Let me see if I can pull it up a little bit so y'all can see a little bit better. All right. So it's here. With a little loop. Let's do it again. So they got that loop there. So it's maybe like little loops. Oh shoot. I forgot what I was doing. Hold on. Yeah, you gotta have some muscle memory go up like that. Like that. Okay. What in the world I did right there? Go down. A <laughs> this is not that easy. Whoa. This is not that easy. Yeah. It's almost like learning how to script. <laughs> All right. Um. Let me see what else they got. Oh, okay, they got the lowercase. That's what lowercase mono line. Okay, I went through the book, but I didn't. I just flipped through it real quick. I didn't see all that. So now that's the A. So now this one won't even tell you where to start at. What happened? I guess you start at the top, come down. No, that's easy. I could easily do the small letters. B. Hey, this can help me with my script. I'm trying to get a certain signature for my name. But it's a lowercase d. So where do you start? Okay, this is where they messed up at. You see how they have, I tell you where to start at here. Now, up, come around, down, up, come around. Yeah, they didn't put that there. Now, so it starts here, down, up, come around. Oh. I did that nicely. This is mine. <laughs> okay, this is fun. Yeah, yeah, this is like script. Oh, hold on. Let me put this down. 
Yeah, this is almost like script. Yeah, because I sort of do my R's like this. The S. Yeah, I might have my son to practice this a little bit. My daughter got beautiful handwriting. Was well, she not a script? No, she don't have a script. So she had to learn how they just got to learn how to put the letters together. So this would be good for your kids, though. Because they don't do this in school, you know. So I don't know how the kids supposed to learn how to. See, I would have came down. I usually do my R's like this. Oh, wow, that's weird. Hmm. Cause usually I put loops in my um I don't know, like that. Penmanship, that's what it's called. Penmanship. I was trying to think of the um it was see when my parents went to school. Penmanship is the same. And me let me tell you what I did one day. Cause me and my mother handwriting, we are both even though I'm a lefty. Me and my mom's handwriting is almost similar. And you know how you get like the letter from home or something like that. I think she told me to script something for her. And I did her name. She was like, oh, wow, you sound just like me. You know, in school, I was like. <laughs> oh. All right, brush pen, which I don't have. But if you get the brush pen, you got to. Do a certain angle. Try to write from the shoulder more often. This way your lines will be more spaced out. Right. Try to write from the shoulder. Try different scales to practice calligraphy. Yeah, you gotta oh basic strokes. Let's see like gotta practice. Oh, I was just doing some little script. <laughs> so it goes down here. Yeah, because you got to loosen up your hand. See, now they're doing the basic brush pen. Follow the guidelines and use the blank space for practice. Oh, so, so now we'll be... So how about I do this? But damn, you're not supposed to take your hand and then... Because it's thick here. Then, as you go up, click here, and then, then. Yeah, I'm about to get a, a brush pen for this. But you can do it with the, with the, um, I forgot the name of it. The Crayola Super Tips is a way you can do it with the suit. Because I've seen on Insta, like I said, I've seen it on Instagram on Crayola. I've seen them do it. Now I'm going to do the B. Yeah, that's what I did. That wasn't quite bad. And the D. Let's see, it's supposed to be light and then dark. I gotta learn how to, I gotta look at that quick to see how you do it with the, um, cause all you're doing, you're making it the light right here and then you dark and then come up like, I used to do it with the pen somehow. I don't know. I used to do it. Oh no, I need the other mark. I know what I need. Hold on. I know what I need. Let's see if I could, let me pause y'all for a minute. So I got the Ohu markers. Let me see what I can do with it. But only thing is it's gonna go through. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, it's gonna go through. So hold on. What's on back of this? It's eleven. It's gonna go through the paper. So you use I did it with this. The board tip. Let me see if I can do that. Okay, I don't gotta worry about this side here. Let me see, let me see. Okay. Light and then, and then light. Let me see. Light. 
I don't know how I know I did it with the no. You know what? I haven't did this in so long. Let me see. I went through. Yeah, I went through. Because you can lighten it up. You see? I did it some kind of way. So, and then you're supposed to come out light. And then. Let me see. That's. Uh, this is. Dark. And then, nope, dark, and then light, no, I know I did it with the, I did it with the pen before, and I can't believe it, I was like, oh sure, I did it with the pen, oh, I haven't did it in so long, I should have kept, I should have kept up with it, okay, came out horrible, <laughs> I can't do it. But you 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 make it dark here. I mean the board pressed down. Is it pressing down? See they just said it. I don't know. Depends on what pin you have. Let's start with the downward stroke with the level of pressure. Do not press down on the marker from top to bottom as it's with distort the tip. Oh that's for the Oh okay, hold on a minute. I know what I could use. And it's so funny that I picked these up the other day. Well, you should see. I should have, I'm going to put up a video of this. These fantastic paintings. So this has the brush tip. So, okay. What did it say? Hold on. Let me put this on the side. Mm -hmm. uh, hold on. It says, let's start with the downstroke and with the level of pressure. Now write lightly with the tip of the marker upstroke. So let me try this A again. All right, y'all. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, see, I got this. See that? Okay, so it says, now what they do with the A over here, if we can go back, it's broad, then light, then broad, then light. All right, so let's see. Uh, boy. Oh, see, I did it right there. But see, I suppose I did that over here. Hold on. Let's try it again here. I can't get it. It's horrible. Let me see. I see how I did it right there. How can this? I see you. See how I did that light? Almost, almost. I see if this up close. Almost. <laughs> I have not did this in so long. I need my calligraphy pen. My calligraphy pen. That's the only way I'll be able to do this. I could do it with the pen. That's one thing I could. I know I could do it with the pen. So let's go down. All right. I don't want to keep this video too long. So, but anyway. I'm going to do a part two. Let me know in the, in the description if you want me to do a part two. Hopefully, you know what? I'm going to try to get that pen. I'll get it probably next week. i order the pen and then we can go through some of the pages. Like I said, this would be helpful for um, just learning how to script and do certain letters. You don't got to probably do it exactly, but you can do. Okay, they give you stuff to do here. That's what I like. To put it together. Basic brush pen. Alright, so I'm gonna have to get the brush pen then. So alright, like I said, if you want to see this the full flip through, you can go see um Meg's. Oh, I keep pushing that thing. 
That's eight chain. So this is the lettering style. You see how they got the different lettering? But see, I'm, I wish they would have put the old, the old school calligraphy. They don't have, this is the modern. Unless this is it right here. But they have the old school calligraphy. That's what I wanted to show you. So I might end up getting that set anyway. This can help you with the script. So. All right, so it's almost 30 minutes. So. This is it right here. So I'll do a part two on this. So we'll have, have an art class. <laughs> and sit down. We can learn together. So you can get the book off of um, Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. This is fun to do. This is fun. I like to see. I'm getting back into the mold of it. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching. Um, everyone have a good day. Peace, love, and blessings.